Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of the internet, the Master Keeble, welcome back to Guardian 2 Rage Burst. I got shooed off to go talk to Dr. Graham, Dr. Graham, Director Graham, and see what he has to say about me. Hopefully it's nice. Good audio, bad audio? Bad audio. Dr. Leia, why are you opposed to testing unmanned operations? It's the most efficient way forward with the God Ark soldiers. I'm not opposed. I simply comprehend that we cannot begin a new test phase under current conditions. How could you allow this? After you just went sexy HQ on her. HQ insists that the use of God Ark soldiers is unnatural. Many former God Eaters have lent their voice to this protest. <sighs> I do as I must. If we can't get solid results, and quick, in this next testing phase, we will be forced to scale back the program. It is out of my hands. I am sorry, Doctor. I only ask that you try to understand, for my sake. Very well. Bye bye, Leah. Reporting in, Director Grimm. I was informed you wished to speak with my team and I. Oh, as per Dr. Rachel's request, I want your blood unit to take the lead in conducting the upcoming Godox soldier exercises. To elaborate, I then. Uh, Kujo, elaborate for me. Because you know fuck all, boy, you're talking about. Of course, Director. I understand that you, Captain Visconti, and you, Ms. Allenson, worked under Dr. Rachel and Dr. Leia. Yes, that's true. They raised us, in fact. Both Sheil and I served as test pilots in earlier phases of the God Ark Soldier Project. Very good, yes, very good indeed. Then I'll be brief. I need you to observe the soldiers in combat and defend them, if necessary. We require one-on-one -on -one combat data. So your task is to clear the operations area. Please ensure that nearby Aragami will not be a threat. So we're to play the opening act. Exactly. And you'd best not forget it, boy. The Godark soldiers are to be the stars of this show. Do I make myself understood? What a yes, sir. asshole. Excellent. You'll be briefed on site, etc., etc. Mission requisites and such. Handle it, Cucho. I'm a busy man. Uh, yeah, it's so busy. Uh, Captain Visconti, I'll go into more detail at the mission briefing, if that's acceptable. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. Until then. Okay. Let's get a move on, shall we? Bye bye, assholes. And a pussy whip doctor. Okay, let's go. A red nimbus. What was that again? I don't remember. I don't remember what it is actually. I keep hearing. I kept hearing in the other playthrough over and over, but I can never really pinpoint what a nimbus actually means. I never even heard the word till this game. So I have to look it up outside of the game, I guess. Let's get this over with it. It's you and the, uh... You are weapons free and fuck, what's the other one? Congo. Mission begin. This is not nope. Keep me Wrong one. Here. Boy, boy. Eh. What's the one over here? Boy. Oh, you're annoying. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's Chew. And the Congo's coming our way. So... Hate to leave in the middle of a battle. Right, as you wish. There we go. Now I can handle it. <laughs> hey, where the, where's Romeo going? So is it just me, or is that monster like unfairly tough? Spiders, coming up, guys. These things are so fucking easy. What are you complaining about? Such a cry, baby. Kill this thing, so it's not in the way. There we go. No! Really? A miss? There we go, fucking hit it. How did that miss me? 
Oh, okay. Well, okay. Go home now and then. We can handle this. At least I think. It's not as good, but smart to shoot me. Really? Last one hit me. Fuck off. Die! <laughs> Romeo. Yeah, sometimes the text doesn't really appear as much as you want. Like, it's not fluid. It's a stable one. Ow! I'm just tanking hit at this point. Make a solid hit, so. Damn it, I missed! Yep, don't hit me! I didn't to say that. Die! No! He's about to die! Do as I say! Vermin! Oh! That's a tanky hit! I like the damage I did to him. Ow! Don't hit me! I keep saying that during the episode because I do not get tanked the hits, I just don't want to get hit. Fair or not. Oh! It's amazing! Oh, this is amazing! It's gonna go down really fast! It'd be easy as shit! Come on, go down! Uh, oh, that was, that was out of stamina! No! Not allowed to eat! Kill it! Come on! Almost dead! No! Please die! You're almost dead! I know you are! In uh, Guardian 3, they actually are really confident in the teammates. Like, they actually almost kill an Aragami before you before even get there. It's amazing! No, I want to devour it! There we go. Okay, time to kill the other one. Should be pretty fucking easy. If I say so myself. And they're all the way on the other side, so this will take a while. Don't mind us, we're on the other side of the arena. And wow. I can't believe the depth perception is actually pretty far in this game. You can see all the way down there. I didn't notice it too much in the other game, so I didn't really, you know, acknowledge it, but wow. You can really see him from this far away. Alright. Let's put this thing down for good. Wow, I can actually hit him from here. Wow. And that does actually considerably amount of damage. Wow. I'm not expecting that much damage to be inflicted on this thing with a cannon. You can't hit me. Wait, what? What is Nana doing? She's just running around doing fuck all. Instead of being on a task at hand, she's just like in La La Land. I love this thing. I never use cannons that much, but I'm actually surprised this much this amount of damage on this thing. Oh come on, seriously! And it missed. Wow. Go down like a good boy you are. You can't hit me. Ouch, he did, but I did fuck all damage. Sit down. Wow, I didn't actually mean it, but he sat down for me. Damn it. Stay right there. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Of course it is. It's almost dead. No. Ow. Damn, I had to get it with the hit. Damn it. It's almost dead. Come on. It's gonna die. It's almost dead. Come on, let me do this. Few more hits and it should be dead. Really, I thought blocks. Whatever. Like it matters. Not 
really. Really? Dying, big log. Got it. Oh, come on, you're almost dead. Something stubborn and die already. That's what I wanted. Like she doesn't give a shit. Like I know. I'm already looking forward to the next one. We are so cool. We have some extra time now. Maybe I'll hit up some shops and. Well, I should stop being cocky because I could probably get my ass kicked within these next few missions. Because even though it's easier, you never know when they're, they're gonna throw in something just to throw you off, throw me off. It happens all the time where I think I'm doing really good and things are really easy, and then a couple missions down the road, why ain't that stuff? We did really good. Few missions down the road, and I get my ass handed to me because I thought it, I thought I could do, do better than what I did. You know what I'm saying? Cockiness can get uh, punished. His blood still engaged? Yes. God Arc Soldier Beta is still in combat. <gasps> Friar, come in. God Arc Soldier Beta has taken severe damage. What are your orders? What? Its evasion control must be faulty, although it could be a spatial awareness problem. We ran tests, but nothing like this. Oh, damn it! Well, this is a failure. Shield, I'll deactivate God Arc Unit Beta. Defend it and repel the Aragami until we can mount a rescue. Belay that. I saw strange clouds on my return. I'm certain they were Red Nimbus. No. Red Nimbus? Yeah, it's Gil. We can confirm the clouds here. Whoa. I've heard the rumors, but I've never actually seen any. This is insane. That does not look good at all. Is this some sort Blood of acid minutes. rain? Withdraw immediately. There's no time. Captain, it may be too late. Red rain has already begun to fall here. Damn. Well, she's dead. Fran, where's the transport squad? They're surrounded, trying to fight through the Aragami. I don't think they'll make it to the unit in time. All blood members, your new orders are to put on hazmat suits and move to rescue S.H.I.E.L.D. The suits are likely to take damage in battle. Do your best to avoid engaging the enemy whenever you can. Whatever you do, S.H.I.E.L.D., stay out of the rain. Silence! You don't have the authority for that. Oh, here's the asshole. Director Grimm. Trying to put his two cents in. Tell your minions. That the God Ark soldiers are your first and only priority. I order you to aid in their defense. Sir, that's impossible. They cannot fight in the Red Rain. How dare you question me, Julius? You will defend the God Ark soldiers, even at the cost of your own lives. I should kick him down the you fucking stairs. Back. I won't abandon her. You know damn well how dangerous that rain is. Captain, I apologize. I cannot obey you. Fall back without me. Shield. You... You must leave me. To attempt to rescue with inadequate equipment will only lead to losses. I will not allow you to take such a risk for my sake. Blood must hold to the Director's orders. Stay safe and out of the rain. Captain, don't worry. I am proud to have served at your side. I will carry out my mission. To the very last. Such a stubborn girl. Just think like a human, not like a soldier. Shield, respond! Shield! She's deactivated her radio. Huh. That young lady is well trained indeed. She's made the right choice and saved your career with it, Captain. Shove a fucking sword down his throat. Captain? What is it, Nana? Oh damn! What? What's going on? Not letting it uh, come all the way down. <sighs> Julius, you will quell your unit's defiance. Moreover, you will be punished for their foolishness. It's best you remember your place. I want to punch him so badly, please. Yes, director, of course, I understand.
<laughs> yeah, this shit's like acid rain, and I thought a drop would just landed on her boot. Too. Never actually saw one up close. I always fired them so much I didn't even get a chance to look at it. Damn! Fuck you! All blood special forces, I ordered you to fall back immediately. Leave the rest to them. Understood? Just. Come back alive. I came to the rescue. Oh, Captain, I struggle to understand. You put yourself in such danger for me. You knew you would be punished, but you still did something so reckless. Piloting the Godark soldier is dangerous to the entrained. You need a screening first, and even then, you could have died. You could have died. He was no orders and charged right in, and anything could have gone wrong, and, and... Don't worry about it, I got it all under control. Captain, I apologize. I cannot obey you. Fall back without me. Act like a human, I'm not like a soldier. You must leave me. I will not allow you to take such a risk for my sake. You risked a court martial, risked your career, risked your life, just to come for me and keep me safe. All for me. Not letting uh teammate down. No one has ever risked anything for me. No one until you. Oh, her blood bar awakened. That bar on my on the right side doesn't exactly connect with everything else. I, I'm not the only one that knows that, right? That bar, the horse on the bar, then out reach all the way to the other side of the window. Oh my god. Okay. You have to talk to you now. Okay, I guess one day I'll take over your position considering I'm more of a badass than you are. Well, you were here and she was over there, so it's understandable why I couldn't help her right now. Vajra. Yeah, Vajra's gonna be easy. Never had a problem with one, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, can I actually upgrade now? Because I've learned that the uh, it takes a while for you to even be able to upgrade anything in this game, which is kind of bullshit. You should be able to upgrade almost right away as you enter like difficulty three at least. I see it now. Ah, it's the evil bitch. You are the soil and the water. You give life to the seed of power. The guide has come. The one that shall lead the blood. <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem settling. I know you're not trustworthy, but stop making it more obvious than it actually is. I'm sharing the enemy data. That's pretty easy. Get over it. I'm gonna get bothered to get the cuckoo main. It's gonna go straight for this fucking thing. It stops moving. Oh, nope. Caught it just in time. Ow, serious. God damn it. Alrighty, wow, that's a lot of damage. That's just cannon. Yeah, the Vajra in the first game was more fearsome than this. Maybe it's because of my experience and how to fight these things like no problem. Maybe that's the best reason. They're so easy, I don't even have to bother with uh, worrying too much. That's why I'm so confident right now, because I won't die from this thing. I won't be able to die. 
when you fight something so much, it kind of gets to be autopilot. You don't have to worry about, you know, bailing, because you won't. As long as nothing, you know, impedes your objective. Look at this. Oh, I missed. I can sit here and just shoot at it constantly. No worry about getting hit. If I do, it's not that bad. You can't hit me. Yep. That attack always surprised me though, because it's random. Okay, let's kill this thing. Not surprised. Enemies tend to hand for food a lot more often in this game than in the other games. It's like they dumbed it down on purpose because they realized how tough the first game was. Wouldn't be surprised that was the case. Oh, people had trouble with uh, the first monster in the first game? Well, we're gonna dumb it down. Of course, the other are dumb in the game. Just make it a little bit more user friendly. Right in the face. Come on, get this over with. Oh, right in the face! <laughs> Ouch. Seriously, that damage is so. Wow. That's pathetic. The damage they do to you in this game versus the other games are just really minimal. Yeah, I need to heal, but I don't even need to use the bigger uh sword belt. I need to use this. Look at this. This is stupidly pathetic. I love this. It makes fighting so much easier. Nope, no thank you! Ouch! Wow, that's good. It's done the time. Okay, no biggie. Come on, die already! Die, you son of a bitch! Stubborn pity! Ouch! God damn it! Oh, it's actually blinking. Really? A miss? That is really embarrassing, actually. Come on, go down already. Go down. Down the fight, please. It's barely a fight for me. Oh, got it. I like that. Don't have to use a snare trap for this thing. This is stupidly easy. Really? I miss? Fuck you. It's almost dead. Perfect. I could have done it solo. Accomplished with minimal casualties. We're special forces. A league apart. Is everyone ready to return? If is I the reason why they're weaker because we're elite, elite forces? Is that why they're you know weaker? What? Sometimes you just need an off day. I like in Resurrection, they took a lot longer to kill, but because we're elite, is that why they die a lot faster? Please, allow me. I mean, it makes sense, kind of. But I'm still kind of pathetic. I, in the last game, it took me almost 10 minutes to defeat a Vajra. In this game, it takes like 5, maybe. That's up in four minutes. How could you be so damn reckless? Charging out into the red rain like that was lunacy. You wouldn't be able to do that. You can't do that. If something had happened, those you left behind, they couldn't understand. I like that you're gung-ho. It's the reason I'm here. But don't think that you can do everything alone. Wait, are you here because of me? Look, I... I'm sorry for the lecture. See ya. Okay, bye bye, Gilly. Yeah, the enemies are a lot easier in this game than the last game. I've noted this already. It's no biggie. If it gets through missions faster and gets through the chapters faster, then that means to be less episodes, it'd be less fucking editing. I don't mind it too much, but that last series, Guardian of Resurrection, that's 42 episodes. Hope this is shorter. Give me more time to play other games.
Bye bye. Next mission, please. What? Where is he? Oh, hi. What are you talking about? Our next step is to focus on perfecting our attack patterns and increasing our ranged efficiency. Speaking of, Vice Captain, have you been making use of the bullet editor? Yep, I know fuck all about this shit and well, never use I it, so. I understand that. The intensity of the subject tends to put off many god eaters. I know some say it is above their pay grade, which I'm almost certain is a joke. She's like Sheldon, doesn't understand sarcasm until this probably way later funny. in the game. It's too exciting to ignore. We can change bullet trajectory, elemental effects. It gives us much greater options when attacking at range. I tried that shit before. I got so confused. Luckily, some friends friends helped me out with like handing me three bullets that can kill things within ten minutes or even five. Imagine actually. all the possibilities: increasing effective range, enhancing destructive power, altering effects to make better healing bullets. <laughs> I love how she says that with a blank Sorry. expression on her face. I got a little excited. I really do. Um, one more thing, if I may. Only if you have time, of course. But, um, I'm still growing used to this. I'd like used you to, to accompany what? me during my next experiment. I made a bullet you might like. Not too much. I need you to watch the behavior from the side. I can't see that angle myself. Wonderful. Thank you so much. This will be great. I'd like to perform the test as soon as possible for optimal effect. Are you ready to go now? We can do it later. Wait a moment. Well. I'm sure you have a lot to do. Thank you so much. Yeah, these are episodes and I don't really want to go through those through the recorded episode recorded uh, episodes on YouTube. Mainly because it would take too much time and it's not really that interesting. Well, not really. I know in God Eater 3, the episodes are a lot more... How do I say? Important? So, I'll be recording those when I have the time. Difficulty 2, and Bullet Hell. Another Vajra. What? Are you forcing me into this? <sighs> fine. We'll do it, I guess. Let's just get through this already. We've confirmed the God Eater's arrival. Are you sure? Oh great, gotcha. Let's get rid of small fry first. Yay, it's dead! Don't worry about that anymore. Please die. Well done. Don't hit me with poison. I fucking hate poison. No! I think we can finally catch our Oh, small fried fade. Well, maybe one. There it is. Oh. Alright. Nice bug. It's already dead! Wow, the Yaksha was optional. I thought this Yaksha was important. God damn. What was that all about? I believe I can be of some assistance. We just killed Small Fry, and that Yakuza was not even important. Oh my god! Why was that put there in the first place? That was so stupid. Oh, it's like a bullet thing, huh? Okay. No, I feel completely fine. It's just the God Arc. It's not that I feel ill. It's I. I can't quite describe it. Some of the bullets were behaving rather unusually, but in a good way, I suppose. My weapon was performing differently as well. I'll need to adjust the recoil compensator. Uh, all right, I shouldn't trouble them. I can look into the problem myself. A female gun mechanic. Thank you for coming nice. out to help today. I really appreciate it. 
So you pretty much force me to do these things, huh? I told you to wait a moment, but then the game's like, no, nah, you're, you're gonna do this one episode just because fuck you, we told you. Okay, well, it's past half an hour, and I tend to try to keep this episode around that range, just so it's a lot easier for both you and me. So, hope you get Zordabee so you get more of our Guardians of Two Rays burst. <laughs>